Gentlemen, we are here for the second inning to the finals on Exfield in 99 win. So let's see what happens here. Zayn Atik is opening the batting with Zayn Wasim and Rizvan Ishfaq is opening the ball in. Good ball in. Good ball in. Going for the wicket straight away. Good little Yorker there and flicks away for a dot ball. Oh my god! Oh my goodness gracious me. Rizal, Rizal, Rizal! Oh, 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 here we are. Yeah, baby, baby. Uh, I think uh, Irfan told Rizwan how to make babies. <laughs> but yeah, brilliant ball there by Rizwan. Brilliant ball to the Obstrum there. Brilliant ball into Zayn Atik. And uh, that's the first wicket down. Rizzi! 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 Let me see, let me see, let me see. What a ball that was. Let me see. Rewind it. Oh, no. 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 The pressure this kind of baller brings to you uh, is immense. Good balling. Oh, short the length there. Could have been dispatched for a couple of runs on the side walls, but uh, he has missed that. Well played there, well played. In between the region of batsmen. All right, we'll keep it on first slip, sorry. So a couple of runs, ball to the batsman there. Wide delivery. Here he is, Rizal Nishfak, steaming in. Oh, we have a streaker on the pitch. Streaker. Is on the pitch. I can assure you they're fully clothed. After the first over, Eckersfield Eagles are on <laughs> six for one. After the first over, what a good over by Rizwan. Wow. We wonder. Who is Muzam gonna put on next? Who? Muzam. Oh, I thought you said Muzam or something. Here we go. Fussy is on to ball now. Let's see what Fussy can do here. Can he get Zayn Wasim? Oh, good shot by Wasim. Wasim there. Straight to Rizwan. Rizwan did not want to go for that. Ooh, great bowling with the swing as well, moving it away from him. Great bowling, great bowling by uh, by uh, Fassi. Oh, the three shot by Zayn, shot again by Zayn Wasim. Four runs there. Oh, steady, steady. Steady dot ball there, Fessy. Can see him, he's a bit agitated now. Wants to get into the wicket. And the score is 11 for one of 1 1.4. Shot again, shot in the eye just for a dot ball. Let's see what he can do here. Come on then, Fessy. Ooh, trying to, trying to take his legs somewhere right there. Fussy's just bowled the wide. We wonder what is going through Fussy. Fussy's mind. What do you think he should be doing, Ali Shah? Well, in my opinion, he's not bowling the way he would want to bowl. Um, because I conceded in that six, he would want to go for the wicket straight away and get a good reply for the TikTok. But in my actual opinion, he should be bowling fourth, fifth stump line, away from the off stump, getting a little bit of hit and swing that he has there. 
and creating pressure on the batsman to, to put more dot balls in. And here we have Rizwan Ishfaq bowling his second over of his innings and Hamza Hussain is the exit face. Sorry, not Hamza Hussain, the commentator, Hamza Hussain, the batsman. Well, he is the batsman, but um, Hamza Hussain, Sakib Jr. I, trust me, I'd rather not be the batsman out there right now. Rizwan Ishfaq is bowling rockets. <coughs> And he's dug that out. Excellent, Hamza. Yorker. Hamza, he, is, he is your teammate for a reason, isn't he? I mean, Blair uh, Birdie tried to convince me to change team, but I, I don't think I want to anymore. <laughs> Just a question to the commentators. What would you tell the captain right now at this point with it being 16 for one off almost three overs? The captain on which side? The ball inside. Tell your team anything when they're bowling rockets like this. Rizan knows exactly what he's doing. Wait, if it's not off stump, it's middle stump. If the it's not middle stump, it's leg. The captain does not need to say anything to this bowler. Let this bowler play his game and this bowler will prevail. And what a wicket that was, taking the wicket of Hamza Hussein. And uh, Rizwan is on fire at this moment. Two down. <clears throat> Two down for 16. 16. This is going to. Abu Bakr Rasul, who is a down batsman. Opil challenge on the required rate. Is 85 of 85 of 9 overs. 9.1 uh, manageable still. 16. They. 1. 16. Just about sensibly. Yeah, just keep just tapping it along. Just keep your head calm. I mean, look look what they did at the Long Legends. They hit the side walls. Three threes and over. Yeah, three threes rate. and over. They ran for someone. And then it's well. just maybe one good over. You, 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 don't, it. you don't always need to go for oh, the back. Oh, wow. They don't always need to smash to the side walls. Just guide yep. the ball to the right place. Yep. Down the middle of the ball. And then towards the lateral stages in the innings. Yeah, you could go for a smash like S and Tahir did. Yeah, and they believe they haven't taken the power play yet. So that's still an option. I'll open up a gap. And this is, yeah, a couple of weeks lost. Just could maybe an over to rebuilding and then. Yeah, this is a rebuilding process as we speak. Um, as I think three overs gone. Three overs have been bowled. And then we have Yahya, the bowler of this team. <coughs> uh, he is a very good bowler. Bowled very well in the finals in the BBICL against. Uh, oh, and that was a nick, and that's gone. Chasing for it. Yahya doing exactly what he does best. Bowling across the batsman and making him reach. What did they call him, Hamza? What did they call him? Bumrah. Bumrah. And that's a brilliant wicket to take against Zayn Wasim because Zayn Wasim can put any uh, fielding team under pressure with his technique. And now that, okay, that's working for him. He's gone even wider of the crease. And now we have uh, Mubin Ilyas. Let me tell you one thing, Hamza was saying. This guy's, this guy's batting reminds me of Azahak Salim being right handed. Um, this guy will just smash the ball anywhere if it comes down his arc. Watch this, no being Elias. It's got this action, wish. Wait, she don't know how much he's gonna swing. And it's, it's, it's a trap, you've got a slip there. You've got a slip there, you poke your pad by it, you'll get the edge. I think this is excellent tactics by, by Monism's team. I mean, it's a good tactic to bowl around the wicket when you got 100 percent that amount of swing. Look, Flip's just waiting there for him. And it's going straight to him, even if he leaves it, Slip's probably catching it. Oh, it almost yeah, went to him, yeah. taking that. He was taking that just in front of Slip's hands. That's how much he's swinging. Yeah, yeah, bowling to Mabin Elias once again. Oh, edge! Oh, Alas oh, going oh, to Slip! Oh, but it's hit his leg. Hit his legs. Good decision by the umpire. Question, what would you tell the batting team right now? What, what would your uh, opinion be? I mean, we kind of answered that question earlier. Um, <laughs> just, you know, keep your head cool, calm, collected. Hit the side walls. And uh, you know what? It's a rebuilding process, like we said. I mean, the game's not over as we speak. Yeah, the three wickets down, but you've got a rebuilding process. Don't lose any more wickets and try and get, get as much runs as you can hit in the side walls. Do not go for anything too aggressive. I think if we advise them anymore, we'd be their coach and we should be down there. I mean, Rangi, you'd be good for that level three ECB coach. I believe. I heard you're looking for a new role now that you. Available. Uh, I believe they have now taken the power play. Forgetting that question that Hamza is asking. Ah, oh, yep. Excellent, excellent cricket. 
go run me there, that will give him Yeah, you've got to trust your partner there. Just as soon as you've seen, look up, you've seen him running, just go out there. You've got to run me there, but I'm being Ilias. To Hamza's question earlier, shout out to RCCS. Please elaborate, what is RCCS? Rahan's Cricket Coaching School. Coaching youngsters and adults, one-to-ones fitness and cricket skills. By all means, get in contact with my TikTok. You'll see everything there. What's your at, Ronnie? It is at RCCS31. At RCCS31. 31. 31. Does that number represent anything? My birthday. All about Ronnie here. <laughs> but he's going to help you improve your cricket. That's what matters. I can't get to that well, age. I can say one stat. My under 15s went unbeaten. Unbeaten under 15s in the league. They faced a team like Sheffield Collegiate, beat them with the. Uh, one of the players that play in the BBCIL. BBICL. This is why you're not playing Ronnie in there. No, no. This is why your team is not in the BBICL, Ronnie. No respect, Ronnie. No respect for the league. We whatsoever. played a race. One of the most famous players in the t uh, in the uh, Hall of Cricket Arena, and he couldn't play my team. Who is the West today? I'm not sure where the where, where the West is. I mean, his younger brothers here. He normally he plays for. Uh, but we shall allow that for now because we are in the final, and uh, the trophy <coughs> shall be given to the rightful winner. And here we are. Reza is bothered to Mobin Ilyas. And he's warming up in here. Mobin's been in this situation before. He's yes. chased his team to a, from impossible situations. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, and he's not going to drive. A uh, proven match winner. That's out. And Vash is uh, giving it. I'm not giving this team the rifle chance there. But he has been dismissed via run out. Had he put in a dive, I think he would have had a chance. He didn't really look I mean, that interested in getting all Shoei Khalik who goes for dives 100% of the way. Uh, Mobin Elias. Could have reached out with his bat, but I think it was too late there. I mean, if he had a nice grassy pitch like Caribbean, I think he oh, would have yes, put dive. Yeah. A pitch like Caribbean, any dive, any day. And the, current, the current score is 26 for four? 26 for four, thank you very much. 26 for four, wow. Thank you, Ramey. Five overs gone. We wonder what can happen here. Can Raza get another wicket off right. Abu? I reckon the run race I don't right. think they've got a chance in this over. Cause He's probably their seventh choice bowler in this team. Six or seventh choice. They've got so many options. And he's. What a shot there. He's doing it well. Got four excellent pace bowlers in this team. Wide delivery, wide delivery there. Hit the wall, one run, two runs altogether. This is a great attempt of keeping by Hassan Kahir there. Hassan Kahir looking like. A I recommend the hairstyle as well. Ritik Roshan. Oh, that's the one, that's the one there. Lovely air style that. That will reminisce uh, the, the 90s there. <clears throat> Raza steaming in. And he's panned it for two runs. Ooh. Ooh, was that not? Was that? Was that in the air? No, it was in, it was in. <clears throat> visit Rwanda, ladies runs. and gentlemen. Vis visit Rwanda. We will um, put the link in the description. <laughs> the the floor. I think we've got to give a lot of credit here to Bash. There's so much noise in this arena. I mean, this is why we called him. I mean, he does not crumble under pressure while umpiring and bashing. From the noises of the bass to the, to the, you know, the echoes and the... To the appeals. Yeah. It's, oh, oh, just away from Rizwan there. Uh, we, we, we did see in the past four or five weeks, these kids do tend to appeal a lot going there. Confirm. Rizman Ishmael coming back for his for third the over. over of the innings. Hamza was saying his third and final over. What do you think? He could finish the game or finish over if he wanted to. Yeah, he could, he could be finishing the game. He is a long match winner. Um, his bowling has proved very vital for this team. Um, so Rizman Ishmael, if he could claim his third or fourth wicket even of this over, then it's game over, ladies and gentlemen. is 33 for four after six overs. So not completely completely out of the red door yet. It's Eckersfield Eagles. But where some is facing as of now. 
good ball in there by Rizwan Ishfaq. Going for the wicket, which it should be doing. Good intent. Two wickets to go. 33 for four. 6.1. Oh! And this time, all threes comes out of the ground. <laughs> like I said, if it's not off, it's middle. If it's not middle, it's all three. And we can see it cleaned up right there. Uh, Inklam the cleaning services, Saeed Rahman, thank you very much. Saeed Rahman has a, has a, you know, a certificate in a big tech level 2 of uh, cleaning up, cleaning up stumps. the stumps. Yeah. Uh, Self-created mess. That's it, that's it. Um, so the mess that he creates, he cleans as well uh, with the wickets that he takes in the BBICL. Uh, but Rizwan Ishfaq represents the Bengali Tigers. Oh, brilliant bowling. And did you, did you see why he did that, Hamza? He, he put his hand on his badge. Rizwan did. Proud of, his, proud of his uh, upbringing. <laughs> that, is rapid. that pace there, I mean, uh, you know what? You can't do anything with that pace, can you? I mean, uh, I'd be frightened myself to face pace like that because it's pace like fire. This is Pat Cummings esque. Yeah, excellent bowling there. Brilliant bowling. I mean, I feel like I'm in Australia. I mean, the intensity is high, the atmosphere is high. The pace is fire, and he's born fearless. And the West, uh, sorry, Rizvan Ishfaq has bought a tremendous over, 33 for five. Aysen Tarhe coming back into the attack. I mean, Rizwan, brilliant bowling. First, he took one stump off, the other stump off, and now three stumps out of the ground. Uh, brilliant bowling by this youngster. Only, I think he's 14 years of age still. So, brilliant bowling by this youngster. So, Aysen Tarhe coming back into the attack against Abu Bakr Rasul. A little slow ball off cooks there. Uh, good variation there. I don't think that was a slow one. That was a full pace. We just seen used was to seeing Rizwan. Full pace? <laughs> oh, Rizwan. Oh, I forgot about that. You know, after seeing Rizwan, I think this ball everything looks slow. He's this ball looks two miles an hour for my liking after seeing Rizwan. And uh, is that a wide? No, nope, just inside. Good I think lines, good lines. I would back give himself just a bit too much room. Room there. Taking half a step to his left. Smart bowling. He is a, he's an excellent Yorker. Well, one Joker, thing yeah, you can praise bowling. him for. It's that. Even, even the slip field is coming on his bowling. Uh, that's brilliant bowling there by uh, Essen Tahir. Oh, yeah. excellent bowling. And he's just swinging in what? The shots would you try you know and play against him? He's, he's more for his instinct in Yorkers and he's more for taking wickets that way. So, what I will do is, you know. Block the wicket with my legs and try and just put butt there, you know, just play straight. As a left hand, yeah, as a right hand. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> right, I'm talking from my perspective. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what I do as a hand. What I'll you get down, I'll down on one knee and scoop him. I mean, it's I, perfect. I, I just it's just like a Joe Adductor or, or a scientist swinging it into you. Mm. If you know it's going to come in as a New Yorker left. <laughs> this is a macular bowling. This is oh, also perfection. Back on bowling. This is a beautiful to see. Beautiful display of bowling. I mean, Stumps go flying. It's just, it's just. And Saeed Rahman, who's passed his level two B Tech course, is I mean, it's doing just the job again. I mean, he is being paid minimum wage, ladies and gentlemen. We are not being unfair to him. He's a volunteer, he's actually. A vo oh, is he a volunteer? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. All right, then, then, then we don't pay him. Yes. Let me slide. And in comes youngster Ahmad. I mean, seeing all these youngsters, our Caribbean second team has so much potential now. You know. One hundred percent. These these guys. You know, they've been playing Caribbean, and shy green. Leagues and like these, Hamza, you know, back in the days, BBICL produced a lot of youngsters. Now the NBL is producing top youngsters uh, with this display, the bowling display, the boxing display. It's brilliant to see. And this is still Mickey Mouse cricket. You've got rapid bowlers but on all teams. Being tested. I'm testing the batsman. I'm, I'm going for a hack there, a little hack there. And I'm out. You know what, Ahmad, enjoy your game, son. Being enjoy your game. Being advised from 15 different directions. I just think he needs to play his natural game. Oh, Ali's taken! That is his natural game. Unfortunately, he's not happy. Ah, uh, he knows he knows he could do better. And it looks like it's his result. Oh, it's a game there. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game over, Game ladies over. and gentlemen. And Longley Legends have won the mini Bash League of 2022. Champions! Come on! Champions! Champions, boys! Bash, thank you. You're welcome. Bro. Bash, what did he say in the second over? I can't remember. No, last over, last over. I said you're going to get two wickets. How many did you get? No, no, sorry, no, no. No, I see. All I want to say is, is under 20 VVICL is questionable about their team. <laughs> Victory! <laughs> Alhamdulillah! Uh, we're here for the presentation for the Mini Bash League, uh, a league that's been run for a number of weeks now. Some exciting prospects that have come through the ranks, mashallah, new talents, new faces, people we've not seen before, uh, exposing their talent and getting them involved in cricket arena, in the league itself, and inshallah onto bigger things, obviously moving into the men's league as well. Uh, thank you guys, obviously, for coming down every week, you know, and day, day, you know, I said it in the men's league as well that, you know, we can do all the preparation, we can do everything that it takes to run the league, but end of the day, if we don't have the players and if we don't have you guys turning up every week, then, the, you know, it's not going to work. So I appreciate you guys coming down. Just a quick round of applause for you guys. <clears throat> um, you know, my, there's obviously been a lot of talent that's been displayed throughout the weeks that have been played here. Obviously, I've not been here that well to know exactly who it is, but, you know, the performances I've shown for themselves, the scorecard shows it. You all know individually how you performed and what you can do better. Um, but all I want to say is just keep going, inshallah. Look, we, 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 we'll plan on doing this every year. We want you guys to be involved as much as you possibly can. Um, and, you know, the end game is basically just to try and get you involved in cricket all year around I know some of you play outdoor uh, in the hardball season you're busy there some of you you know it's your first time playing cricket you know ever so <clears throat> alhamdulillah it's good to see that and uh, you know just keep uh, keep playing keep coming back every year and uh, just improve your game and improve uh, where you want to go and inshallah look we might see some of you guys in the league for uh, the, the the big cup next year inshallah you guys so I tell you what some of you guys will be have been scouted and captains and sponsors are looking to see who they are going to potentially sign as their youngster for the men's league as well. So uh, thank you for that. Right. Let's move on to the runners up uh, to, in fact, what I'll do is before, the, uh, before they collect the medal, does the runners up captain want to just have a quick word, Zain Atik? <laughs> Zain. I didn't even know you were captain, if I was being honest, but um, look, you made it to the finals. Obviously not your day, just a few words on what went wrong. End of the day, um, I, I had full confidence in my team. I felt like because it's our first season, we had players that didn't play, no win ball. They got <coughs> used to it, they enjoyed it at the same time. Um, the other team was just the best team on the day. Yeah, for finals pressure, do you think? Yeah, I feel like we did have a bit of pressure just to say, like, obviously our players haven't played win ball before, but obviously they had the feel of what YMA is like, what to do in YMA, the running, the hitting the walls, but well done to my team, well done to the other team as well. Man. No, no, that's uh, very good. Um, obviously, runs on the board, isn't it? That's the main thing. I think, you know, even, what was the chasing? How much did, you get? did they make, like 80 or something? On, on a regular day, you know, you, you tend to chase it, but I guess in a final situation, even that seems like a huge mountain to climb, yeah. don't you think? Yeah, it was a huge score. And the day our bowlers, they didn't do their best at their potential, but they, they give their all, they give their 100. That's what I'm happy about. No, no, no that's kind. You guys are really well to get to the final. So thank you for that. I appreciate you coming up. <clears throat> For pictures. Are they coming here for pictures? All right. Um, right, what we're going to do, uh, can the runners up team just line up for me? Uh, they can come this way. I'll hand out the uh, medals for the runners up team. So just come this way <clears throat> and uh, I'll get Hamza to put the medals around them. What to do, head over to Waka once you've collected your medals. He'll, he'll do a team photo uh, and then you can go after that. Well done, lads. You guys played really well. Be sure to come back next year, yeah? 
Inshallah, this rig is going to be going all the time. And uh, Zain, I'm sure you're not a youth, but okay. Well done, Abu Bakr. <coughs> well done. Right. Um, before we move on to the obviously the winners' trophy, uh, we'll do the we'll do the individual awards to start with. So uh, we'll leave that one for a second. Let's do the best batter. Uh, this one, as it stands, obviously goes to the guy who scored the most runs in the mini bash league. Uh, Yahya, come collect your trophy. <coughs> Uh, the next award is the best bowler award. Accumulates uh, all the wickets taken, uh, the most wickets taken in the season. Uh, uh, you know, looks out the stuff as well, but the majority of the wickets. Obviously, with I think is it 11 or 12 wickets for the season. Ronnie, come collect your best bowlers award. Yeah. Ronnie, Ronnie. <clears throat> uh, the last award uh, is the best player of the season award. So this award, just to give you guys how it works, it accumulates everything. So it's your contribution with the bat, with the ball, in the field, catches, everything. It's taking everything into account. So uh, it go, it's a, it's a point-based system, so it's whoever gets the most points. Um, Ronnie, come collect your best player award. <laughs> well done, mate. Right. Uh, do the winners uh, want to line up and come collect the uh, winners' medals? Rizwan Ishfaq. Well done, mate. Ahsan Tahir. Thank you. Hello. Munazam Hussain, the skipper, Chachu. <laughs> Fasi. I'm like Raza. <laughs> Hassan. And Yahya. of the Mini Bash League 2022, the Longley Legend! Yeah! I forgot their name. I forgot their name. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that now. Hamza, one more thing yeah, before they go there. <laughs> right. Can you see the reason? Can the winning team sit down except the captain? Stay here, please. Munazam, congratulations. You played very well. Your team's doing very well. How do you feel? I feel very good because I got a very good bowler. Oh, sorry. I feel very good because I got a very good bowler. Yeah. So, uh, I know because I, we collapsed some games in the batting, but I, I know it's a 
You, you've got a very balanced team, very strong bowling attack, batting's been uh, doing well as well. You're happy with the guys' performances? Yeah, I'm very uh, satisfied. Uh, I think I go uh, some uh, more players in the squad, so I'm confused. So who's going <laughs> to play today? I got Sufi and Assad, yeah, I got yeah. Bukhari as well. So. Yeah. Uh, you had a very good team. You were obviously the best team for this tournament, so very well done for you. before these guys say anything. Oh, yeah. Big up. Yeah. I'll see you Stand there, he said. Who are you going to be? Who are you going to be? 